Today we're back with another head-to-head -head driver comparison, old versus new, Titleist 910D2 and the new Titleist TSR2. Taylor will hit all the shots for us. We've got TrackMan to give us all the stats, and we'll show you guys all of it. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Give this video a like and you drop a comment and tell us what you think of either the 910D2 or the TSR2. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold, the second swing golf, joined by Taylor Ledwine here at the Minnetonka Tour Van. Taylor is a master fitter for our online fitting and support team. Uh, fun comparison today, Taylor. Mm -hmm. We've got a Titleist 910D2. Uh, when I was in high school, this was the driver everybody had to have. Yep. Uh, the 910D2, we're now, I think, 12 years ahead mm -hmm. uh, with the Titleist TSR2. So uh, we're going to test these head to head. You're going to hit the shots, uh, but we got to talk a little bit about just what we see visually here. Yeah. Um, I think when, when Titleist came in and they were, you know, presenting the product to us here mm -hmm. at Second Swing, they said that the TSR drivers look like a Tesla, and they kind of do, right? Yeah. I mean, they look pretty darn good versus the 910D2. Yeah, just to the eye, it looks really sleek. There's nothing on the top to kind of distract the eye. Right. Uh, just the face setup itself also looks nice. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have like the bright white lines that can kind of distract you. So yeah. I would agree, it does. You know, kind of look yeah. like the Tesla compared into the yeah. the 910D2 here. Right. It looks like it's. It is. I mean, it really does remind me of like the car I was driving in high school, yeah. and now the car I'm driving now. It's like it is. It's it's uh, uh, cool to see the technology improve, but also mm -hmm. just the appearance and the aesthetics get really clean over time. But of course. The most important thing is performance. And right. so our initial testing of the TSR2 has been really, really good for Titleist. And I know you've been working with golfers a little bit over the phone, yeah. but I'm sure there's a lot of excitement about the TSR drivers. A lot of buzz over the TSR, you know, even people who got the TSI mm -hmm. shortly before this came out are wanting to switch yeah. just because of everything that they're hearing, what a great driver it is, forgiving. Um, so I'm interested to see kind of the technology, yeah. you know, difference here between the 2010 Titleist and the 2022 Titleist. Yeah. So we have the 910D2. This is a nine and a half standard uh, loft head. However, we have it adjusted on the D4 to move up to 10.25 degrees, mm -hmm. and that's a 10 degree a TSR2. So slightly different in the loft. And then we've also got uh, kind of stock stiff shafts in each. The hazardous red being the one on the TSR2. So. Taylor's gonna hit a few bombs here, and then we're gonna come back and look at all the data from TrackMan. Yeah, I'm excited, you know, like I said, to see the difference. There's that right. <laughs> Which is, I mean, it's, that's fine. You're hitting the ball solid. It's just loud. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good ball though. Thanks. Already up to 140 on the ball speed. Yeah. 261, 260. I think, is your farthest drive of the day. Looks like I'll be switching drivers. <laughs> Ooh, I'm fall over. I hit that. Slight one. miss hit there. Yeah. That's funny because that thing is still out there good in yeah. good ways. Not, didn't, you know, had more spin on it, but. No, I just kind of hit it more on the upswing, so a little lower. So, Taylor, mm -hmm. the uh, 910D2 and TSR2, I have to first ask, I mean, these are 12 years apart, so there's probably some pretty big differences in mm -hmm. that look and feel, right? Yeah, so I felt like just kind of set up to the driver. This one doesn't look quite as open as that, and it looks a little bit slimmer. I'm not, we didn't really look if they were. It just, that's how it feels when yeah. I'm looking down at it. And uh, the 910, when I'm hitting it, feels a lot heavier um, than the TSR2. And okay. I prefer a nice light driver to be able to build up the club and ball speed. So yeah. I definitely liked that about the TSR. Yeah, and we will look at the numbers too, but your club speed did get a little bit higher with the TSR too. So yeah. uh, perhaps some work being done by Titleist, you know, whether it is aerodynamically, mm -hmm. maybe increasing that speed or maybe it is the weighting, but either way you did increase that that swing speed a little bit there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this you know, the, the 910 drivers kind of, well, I guess really the Titleist drivers prior to the, the TS model, mm -hmm. right? The Titleist speed project, they were kind of notorious for spinning kind of high and not quite getting enough out of it compared to maybe competitors. Yeah. Um, they've really picked that up though, the TSRs. You've, we've seen that performance um, in our testing. And then here we saw 
definitely an increase in that ball speed yep. uh, for sure. So looking at the numbers, that's five and a half miles per hour faster with the TSR2. Mm -hmm. Again, a lot of that related to the club speed there and able to kind of just swing a little bit faster. But uh, the result, you also hit the ball more efficiently, one four seven to one four five on that smash factor. So mm -hmm. cleaner ball strike and then just getting more energy uh, at impact. So just a little bit hotter, hotter face there it looks like. Yeah, it was really nice off the face to be able to build that smash factor. You are seeing a little bit higher spin with mm -hmm. the TSR. Um, but when we look at the dispersion, I did hit some a little bit further right. So I think that's kind of yeah. where we're getting the spin. Right. Um, a little bit more off the face, you are going to see that little bit lower yeah. spin and rate. If, <laughs> if the viewers have not uh, seen the What's in the Bag video, Taylor, you know, uh, you know the tendency is to miss right based yeah. on what her current driver looks like. So um, we will bring up that dispersion here quickly um, so we can see this is the carry uh, figures up there, the carry dots. So mm -hmm. uh, you see it is the TSR2 is a little bit further up there. Um, you have four out of the five are past that 220 mark. Yeah. And then you have only one of the five with the 910 that are past that 220 mark. So um, that's something to note there. And then if we do move this to total, we can see a little bit further up yet with the TSR2. There's actually two dots right here, believe it or not. There's two of them. There. <laughs> so um, that's showing some repeatability, I guess, on, yeah. that, on that TSR2. But then you did have the one, and this is actually your first swing here which uh 261 mm -hmm. and you didn't really sniff that with a 910 d2 so oh uh, no i think that's you know even with my current driver that's mm -hmm. pretty pretty much a max i can get out of yeah. a driver so that's nice out of this tsr2 mm -hmm. but yeah with those two to the right that's where we're kind of seeing that increased spin so yeah but with the other ones i mean you can see with that one that's 261 i'm hitting it yeah pretty low spin which is nice to see yeah you had it was, it's kind of interesting because the tsr2 I, I feel like you're you had a variety of, of uh, maybe strikes on the face because mm -hmm. I think you had you know a couple low ones and then you had um, I'm trying to bring up the dispersion here so I can see here but there was so there was this shot here um, where you hit with a one four zero smash mm -hmm. didn't quite catch it perfectly no. went a little bit higher than the rest of yours right but to see that one still go 220 carry plus yeah still compete with all the other shots with a one four zero smash compared to the other TSR two shots as you can see here the smash was 150, 149, 149, 149. Mm -hmm. But to see the 140 shot still get out there and compete with every other shot that you hit, I think is a really good sign for the TSR drivers that that forgiveness is still there. So you can miss that ball somewhere on that face and you're still going to get a really good performance. And that's, that carry distance really didn't even drop um, right. compared to the ones, for example, on the, T, the 910D2 that you hit. I think that's kind of the nice thing about the TSR. I mean, if I'm playing out in a round tournament or just for fun, not going to be upset if I hit it not quite in the center, but I'm still hitting it 242. So that's a nice thing about that nice big forgiveness spot is mm -hmm. you might not hit it like you want, but you're still seeing a great result from it. Right. So. Right. And I think uh, that's even the 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 benefit of both TSR2 and we've gotten feedback from the fitters too on the mm -hmm. TSR3. The same thing is that that ball speed retention not quite in the center is tremendous compared to even past Titleist models, but also what's out there on the market now. So um, I think. Pretty good test here. Yeah. I mean, we saw, again, not that we were expecting anything different. I mean, mm -hmm. we're talking about a 12 year difference yeah. in the technology, but it should be noted too, though, uh, for players maybe looking to save some money on a driver, mm -hmm. that dispersion for a 910D2, that's that's actually really good up there. Yeah, for you know someone who's looking for a little bit older, you know, a used option, mm -hmm. that dispersion is better than I could have predicted yeah. from a driver that's 12 years old, right. you know? I mean, you didn't maybe I didn't quite hit all of them great, but they're all, Mm -hmm. in a very small amount so if anyone looking for a used driver that'd be yeah. a great option right it's it was pretty darn consistent for you again i think you might not be getting your maximum distance you could be but right to get that type of consistency over and over mm -hmm. yeah, that's pretty good so depends on what you're looking for golfers if you're looking for something that is uh, maybe used maybe not quite as expensive 910 d2 might be a pretty solid option but of course if you're looking for the latest and greatest from titleist the tsr series and the tsr2 in particular here pretty good performer so uh, Taylor, thanks for hitting all the shots today. I think some really good testing numbers. Definitely saw some gains in mm -hmm. the last 12 years, but as you mentioned, a really good use model here as well. So it all depends on what the golfer is looking for. So yeah. thank you for hitting the shots and giving your feedback today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I love testing out this new equipment.